Right now we're joined by Jaime Diaz. Jaime, always great to spend time with you. Your thoughts on this completed 12 for Luke Donald? You know, a very good team that's going to be on home soil. Mm. I, I think they're going to be very competitive, and I wouldn't make them the underdog. Mm. Um, I really do think it's sort of a throwback type of team, very top-heavy, like you saw in the 80s and the 90s, you know, where you had Faldo and Seve and Langer and Woozy and Alathabal, um, you know, Lyle. That mm. was a team where some of the guys didn't even play to the singles who are at the lower end of right. the ladder. I'm not think, I, don't, I think this team's a little better, better balanced than that, but I mean, to have Hovland, uh, and Rahm and Rory right up there, uh, whew, that's, that's really formidable, and mm. you can do a lot with the combinations there. I do think the setup is going to be determinant in terms of what Luke's trying to do, and I think he wants good ball striking. Obviously, everybody wants good putting. I think Europe has better putting than they've had in the past. Mm. Uh, it seems to me across the board that it looks like a team that can hold putts. Mm. Uh, a couple of guys who are a little weak with the putter, but in general, uh, a lot of guys who, who are actually, you know, Tommy Fleetwood, for example, can really do it. But, you know, I think fairways and greens, that's going to be the mantra for Europe, and mm. it has been in the past, and it was in France, and I think mm. it'll be in Italy. Mm. Isn't it just so tantalizing to try to figure out what some of these partnerships would yeah. be? Because you do kind of know to some extent what the American team is going to do. You're probably going to see JT and Jordan Spieth again. You're probably going to see Sam Burns and Scotty Scheffler. But it's a completely blank slate on the European team here. Hovland has played with Fleetwood a couple of times in the past, lost both of those matches. Mm -hmm. There's been occasional matches, you know, Lowry's played with Hatton once, but there's really no history there. To me, it's just an, an absolutely intriguing blank slate of to what extent does he throw out a couple of these rookies together and just sort of blood them on day one and say, okay, <laughs> in at the deep end with you? Or do you see an Aberg playing with a, a Rory McIlroy? I see it more that way. Uh, wow. You know, I do see that uh, they don't want to, I don't think, put their top horses together. Got to split them up split a little Split them bit. up a little and mm. bring in, like Seve used to play with guys who are totally inexperienced mm. uh, and yet would, would sort of shepherd them along mm. and bring out their best. And, uh, you know, I think Rom's capable of that. And, and I think especially Victor with such a great temperament, you could put anybody with him. And Rory, you know, uh, I think, Rory, you want somebody who's in a, I think, positive frame of mind because Rory can get a little down on himself sometimes. Mm. Take some pressure off him, make it fun. Uh, but he has a lot of flexibility. How about the captains themselves and how they've gone about their mm -hmm. business with the picks that they've made and how they're kind of organizationally as well? You're talking about Zach and Luke, never the biggest hitters, uh, you know, wedge players, thinkers. Yeah. Anything in the way that they play show you anything about how they may captain? I think they are meticulous and look for detail and look for small margins because that's what it took for them. You know, they had to be, they couldn't have any weaknesses really other than their. Uh, length off the tee was always right. going to be a week, so they had to make it up in other ways. Mm. Uh, Luke didn't hit it particularly straight, but he did everything else beautifully. Great iron player, incredible short game, Bunkers. great putter. I mean, and and Zach's legendary with the wedge, what he did at the Masters. Mm. So I think yes, uh, they're very businesslike. They're both very articulate and smart. Um, I don't think they tend to be really emotional. Uh, or at least show it. Maybe they will in the team room. Mm. But I think they want to have that really cool calculating kind of distance from the object kind of uh, approach and let the players sort of form their own personality. I don't think they want to force their personality on the team. Mm. I, would, I would argue when it comes to personalities and teams, I would argue that where Europe has always found its unity was in the purpose of mm -hmm. kicking the American spots because yeah. so many generations of European guys got a chip on their shoulders thinking that they were disrespected on the PGA Tour, you know, they were sent Absolutely. out to play with two school graduates and, mm. and rookies. Whereas the American team, to me these days, feels as though it's trying to manufacture unity before it goes in terms of personal relationships. Do you buy that the, the American team seems a little bit too clubby right now? Yeah, I think you wrote a great column about that. And uh, yeah, I, I think the task force has had a residue effect. Let's make sure we have chemistry. It's almost the first priority. Uh, but it's not necessarily the the important priority because what's a purpose, as you said, that's what drove Europe. And a lot of people uh, on that team didn't really like each other particularly mm. well on those European teams, but they really came together with that for common cause. Two years <laughs> I, I think, you know, finding a common cause for America right now is let's go win on, on foreign soil, and that might mm. be the mission this time. Well, if Luke Donald can find a way to call this team underdogs with the firepower that you mentioned, yeah. that you want to talk mm. about pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Mm. I mean, but that's what the European side seems to do every two years. And I think Amy made a great point about American exceptionalism. Mm. The fans think that way, too. Yeah. Uh, but I think they're a lot closer than it looks on, uh, not on paper, but an image. Mm. Thanks for the time. We'll see you on Golf Central tonight. Yes, sir.